that's a coach's dream. You know, that's a that's a that's a coach's Cinderella story. That's a coach's you know, that's a coach's fantasy is to have a guy like Michael Bisbee, to have a guy that's a double tough son of a guy that has all the grit in the world and all the ability in the world and falls short in some areas but is able to put it all together, you know, obviously with his determination and with advice that he's getting from me as a coach, you know, seeing it all put into play, you know, it, it, nothing beats that. To have a talented guy, to have an A-plus student, an A-plus fighter that could just beat anybody anyways, you know, whether I'm there or not, you know, that's, you know, that's a cool feeling. It's cool to be a part of it. It's nice to have, uh, you know, an association and a, and a connection with a great, talented athlete that, but to have an athlete that you actually are making a connection with and you are giving inches to, you know, and he's gaining inches off your advice and uh, to see it go to the top, you know, top of the mountain at the end of the day, you know, there's nothing better than that. I've had a fighter against George St. Pierre before in the past, and George St. Pierre is a very intelligent fighter and very gifted and talented and strong. He really, he really is well-rounded in all areas, and that's what makes it, you know, that's what makes the victory when we win this fight even that much sweeter. Um, we're stoked, you know, it, 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 not that it's just a lottery with money. I know that people want to fight GSP because it's a lottery of money, and this is about money. It is. Once you've fought long enough, you got to get paid, no matter which way you look at it. And that's where Michael Bisping kind of is at his career. Michael Bisping's never ducked anybody his whole career. He's fought everybody. The last three fighters, the last three fighters would kick GSP's ass today in a heartbeat. Do you understand what I'm saying? They would kick the out of GSP. You know what I mean? So as far as us being concerned and, and, and threatened and scared of our brain, no. Are we concerned the fact that GSP can beat Michael Bisping? Of course, anybody can beat anybody on any given day, especially a talented fighter like GSP. But you know what? We've been preparing for bigger beasts, badder beasts, stronger beasts, and we're gonna prepare for this guy. And I promise you, Michael Bisping is gonna be good to go. Do you think BJ is coming back to fight again? 1,000%. Well, listen, people say, what well, I'm getting people hit me up on my own sister, but what the f are you trying to give Mike, uh, BJ Penn a fight again for? I said, I, my, BJ Penn's a fighter. I don't think you guys understand. We're here, I'm here on a red carpet right now talking about fighters. Why? Because they're fighters. That's why we're here. That's why there's any, that's why we're all making money. Everybody's sitting here making money right now is because these guys are fighters and BJ Penn's a fighter. Do I think he's going to fight again? Yes. Give him the right fight put him in a proper situation. Not to where he can just win, put him in a proper situation. You know what I mean, no matter what, and that's what he deserves. Because he's a champion, he's a legend. At the end of the day, you keep on putting him in, you know, over his head at the time of his career. He's at a, he's at, he's at a bad part of his career. At the end of the day, you gotta put him in the right.